And if you look, the CIA is a sock puppet for the military industrial complex. Its function is to provide a steady pipeline of forever wars for Raytheon and General Dynamics and Northrop Grumman and Boeing and Lockheed. That's who it's working for. It's not working for the American public. My uncle understood that in 1961 when he came into power. Four months in during the Bay of Pigs when he realized he'd been lied to by his agency and by the military brass. He said publicly he took blame for it, but privately he said to his aides, I want to take the CIA and shatter it into a thousand pieces and scatter it to the winds. But also, the Fed is a captive agency by the banking industry. Jamie Dimon and Larry Fink run the Fed. It's not working for you and me. It's working to flood the canyons of Wall Street with money. That's much more concerning to me than the agency. The agencies have too much power because they're owned by the industry. The agency didn't have too much power when it was working for the American public. But they don't do that. The health agencies are not working for public health. They're working to keep us sick because the group that controls them, the pharmaceutical industry, profits from chronic disease. Now, $4.3 trillion a year we're spending on chronic disease and nobody's even doing research on it at NIH. So that's a big problem. The pharmaceutical industry, the oil industry, the coal industry, the chemical industry, which I've seen firsthand throughout my career, you know, each of their, their agencies are captured. They've become sock puppets for the industry they're supposed to regulate. All of these agencies are controlled by an industry, and I think that is the biggest threat to American democracy.